Back in February 2019, I took a small road trip down to Chicago to trade in my old car and pick up my new all-wheel drive Tesla Model 3. And in the past six months and almost 20,000 miles, I have had the most awesome experience with this car. I figured now was a great time to share with you my top five favorite features of the Model 3. Let's check them out. All right, number one, if you're familiar with my channel, you will not be surprised. It's definitely autopilot. I love autopilot. I love navigate on autopilot. I use this feature every single day. I do a lot of driving. I have a 70 mile commute to work every day and I use it on the way there and back for about 50 miles a day. Autopilot has made my drive so much less stressful. I arrive to my destination feeling refreshed like I haven't even driven. This is of course one of the most popular features of a Tesla and there's good reason for it. Regular autopilot keeps you in your lane and keeps your distance from cars in front of you and it can also keep your speed. Then you have navigate on autopilot that will actually make lane changes to pass slower cars and exit the freeway for you. This is a game changer and if other companies don't start implementing something like this, they're gonna miss out and Tesla's gonna steal their customers because once you use it, this is seriously one of the best features on any car. Yes, sometimes there are controversies when it comes to timelines with autopilot, but in the end, what we have today, what's available to us now is amazing. A lot of people could not have even imagined cars would be doing this even 15 years ago. I hop on the highway, turn on autopilot, and my car does all the work. I just have to sit back and pay attention. Autopilot is the first feature that attracted me to Tesla and had me researching the company and their cars. If it wasn't for autopilot, I can't say I'd be driving a Tesla today. Next up is software updates. And honestly, this one almost is better than autopilot sometimes. I mean, think about it. If my car has autopilot, but doesn't have software updates, that's it, that's my car. But if my car has software updates and doesn't have autopilot, it could eventually get autopilot through software updates. Software updates are one of the low key features on a Tesla that make it better than any other car. My car is faster and more powerful than the day I bought it. The zero to 60 time has decreased and that electric torque you feel when you take off has gotten stronger. I receive these software updates every few weeks and while unfortunately there are sometimes bugs, it brings new features to the car that you didn't have before. It's not just that the car has gotten faster and more powerful, it also has things like dog mode that allows you to leave your dog in the car and keep temperature. And while dog mode specifically might not be that big of a deal, it's cool that I received that for free via a software update on my car that was just sitting in my garage connected to Wi-Fi. I didn't have to go anywhere. I didn't have to pay anyone or do anything. My car just got better overnight. Other features that have been added are sentry mode. So now my car is always recording, whether it's parked or driving. And we've also gotten fun stuff like games. Some of the other more useful updates, my car also charges faster than the day I bought it. While before this software update, maybe a supercharger stop would take 20 minutes. Now it only takes 15. Speaking of charging, this is one point where I thought I was actually making a sacrifice buying a Tesla. I didn't think electric cars were all that convenient because they take a long time to charge and there aren't many places to charge. And what do you do if you run out of energy? You know, everybody has those kind of questions. Well, after owning this car for only a few months, I quickly learned that charging is actually a huge benefit. I get home, I plug my car in, and the next day it's full, ready for another day. I don't ever have to stop anywhere outside of home to charge. If you're driving farther and you're gonna be away from home, Tesla has a supercharger network that makes it possible to go almost anywhere in the continental US with just a 20 or 30 minute stop in most cases. Not to mention my fuel is way cheaper than it used to be. I'm saving $100 a month in gas, if not more. I only pay around $50 a month for all my driving. And as I said before, I do a lot of driving every month. I really thought having a battery powered car would be an inconvenience. I never expected that I would actually prefer to plug my car in than have to go somewhere else to fill up, even if it only takes five minutes. But when you're doing that once or twice a week, it adds up. Versus now, I never go anywhere. I just plug in when I get home and I'm ready to go every day. Before I continue, if you're watching this because you're thinking of buying a Tesla, first of all, do it. It is awesome and you will not regret it. Second of all, use a referral code. I have mine down in the description, but if you know somebody that owns a Tesla, ask them for their code because then you'll each get a thousand free miles of supercharging. Next up is the driving experience. And yes, the cars are really fast. They're really powerful. The handling is awesome, especially in the smaller Model 3, but it's not just that. Part of the driving experience for me, as I just mentioned, is that every day the car is full. I don't have to go anywhere to fill it up with electricity or gas. On top of that, it's super quiet. There's no engine making any noise, so especially at lower speeds, the car makes absolutely no sound, and it makes for such a nice driving experience. Also, you have regen braking. So when you let off the accelerator, the car naturally begins to slow using the electric motor. Doing this doesn't use any brakes at all. So Tesla says the brakes can last the entire lifetime of the car. If you drive the car for 
300,000 miles, let's say, I would expect to change the brakes maybe once, depending on your climate and the way you drive. And it's hard to explain. I mean, it's awesome that you don't have to use the brakes much because then you don't have to replace them. You don't have to pay for brakes. But on top of that, it just makes driving so much easier. And then yes, of course, the car is really fast. It has a lot of torque. It's super fun to drive, but it's also really easy to control. So it never feels like the car's out of control because it has so much power. It's only there when you need it. You also have different driving modes. So if the car is a little too powerful for you or you want to save energy, you can just switch to chill mode. And then when you stop the accelerator, the car is not even going to go all that fast. Now, it's still faster than a lot of cars on the road. I think chill mode in this car is still way faster than my last car. Uh, but it's interesting that you can make those different changes. And talking about not having to replace the brakes, that goes into my last favorite thing about this car. There's almost no maintenance. In the past six months, all I've done is rotate my tires and fill my washer fluid twice. On top of not having to go to the gas station, you don't have to get oil changes. You don't have to change your brakes. You just have to change your tires, rotate them, and charge the car. Elon Musk claims that the electric motors in these vehicles are rated to go 1 million miles, and the battery is rated to go anywhere from 300,000 to 500,000 miles before you need to replace it. We'll see if these claims hold up over time, but so far in my six months, I really haven't had to do much. I've spent maybe an hour of my time on maintenance in this car in the past six months, which includes driving to Discount Tire and getting my tires rotated for free. Yes, if you didn't know, Discount Tire will rotate your tires for free. This video was sponsored by the Model 3 Part Shop. Check out their website using the link in the description and use the code DIRTYTESLA to get 15% off anything site-wide. I've been using and really enjoying their products, and on top of that, I've gotten to know the people at this company, and they're really nice, so I'm proud to be sponsored by them. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I can't wait to actually make my one-year video. Um, this car has just been the best. It's been a blast. The community's been awesome, and making these videos, interacting with you guys has also been so much fun. Uh, so I hope to talk to you down in the comments below. If you have any questions for me about my experience over the past six months that maybe I didn't cover here, uh, any negatives you want to hear about, there really aren't many, uh, just comment below, and I will get back to you in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you next time.